and welcome to Aerovlog YouTube channel. In this premiere episode we'll present you 10 interesting facts concerning civil aviation in general. Enjoy watching! Number 10. Aircraft hijacking. Many are convinced that aircraft hijacking as a crime was born not too long ago, and aerial terrorism is general, dating its roots maybe to mid 20th century. Dear friends, it is totally wrong. A skyjacking is nearly as old as civil aviation itself. The first known case of airplane hijacking occurred on February 21, 1931. The incident took place in the town of Arequipa in South Peru. Byron Rickards, having piloted Fort Trimolder, was captured by a group of local revolutionists just after landing at the town's airport. Rickards was held captive and hijackers declined to let him fly away. After 10 days when the revolution seemed to have succeeded, Rickards was let free just under one condition of giving an airlift for one of the hijackers to Lima. Of course, he followed the order. 9. Aviation Development It is trivial to say that an airplane is becoming more and more popular as a mean of transport. The scale of real development of civil aviation is clearly visible in statistics. Daily there are around 100,000 flights, which means that aircraft depart or land somewhere in the world more frequently than once per second. In 2015 the number of passengers travelling by air achieved 3.4 billion, so close to half of global population. For comparison just 20 years earlier that number was less than 1.5 billion. I think that you agree that it's quite a progress. 8. Safety. Despite that still many of us are feared with air travels, flying is considered globally to be one of the safest means of transportation. And that's totally true. According to official report issued by an international civil aviation organization, or ICAO, in 2016 on 1 million departures only 2.1 accidents occurred. It practically means that to potentially take part in an aircraft accident, one would need to fly half a million times in a single year. We can assure you that there is much higher risk of being killed in a car accident on the way to the airport or by an electrical shock when plugging the toaster's cable to a socket than being on a flight that would end in a catastrophe. Aircraft naming Just like railway enterprises name their trains, also some airlines do care that their aircraft remain non-anonymous. Such practice differs depending on an airline. For example, on fuselages of Lufthansa airliners present are names of cities, mostly German, like Berlin, Frankfurt, but also some others like Zurich, Johannesburg or Beijing appear as well. In turn, Aeroflot Russian Airlines christened all of its aircraft by famous Russians. And there we have Pushkin, Lermontov or Bakunin. And among lot Polish Airlines Dreamliners there is one named Franek. Number 6. Guinness World Record Double-deck aeroplane Boeing 747, commonly known as the Jumbo Jet, is a machine that set a Guinness World Record in a category of the busiest single flight ever. Although this jet normally carries 360 to 460 passengers, on May 24, 1991, one example belonging to El Al Israeli Airlines carried 1,122 people in Operation Salomon, which had an aim to transport safely thousands of Ethiopian Jews to Israel. In 1991, Ethiopia was struck by a political turmoil and Israel, concerned by the life of Jewish people, organized the operation so that they would reach promised land safely. During the flight, five children were born. 5. Countries without an airport Although at present many countries have dozens of airports, there exist some states that do not have even one. Interestingly enough, all of them are European. Uh, those are Vatican, San Marino, Andorra, Monaco and Liechtenstein. Number 4. Constitution for Aviation Civil aviation, just like other domains, is widely regulated by law. Aviation even has its own constitution, Chicago Convention, done in 1944. It is an international treaty consisting of provisions related to regime of the aerospace, registration of aircraft, air navigation or traffic, and safety. Currently there are 191 parties to the convention. 3. The longest non-stop flight How long do you think you would spend on board a single airplane non-stop? 10 hours? 12? maybe 15. If you think that being in one plane without a single pause for a long time is not your cup of coffee, better avoid buying ticket for the route Auckland to Doha, operated by Qatar Airways. 
The cruise covering distance of 7.8 thousand nautical miles takes 17 hours and 30 minutes, which currently makes it the longest scheduled flight in the world. Moreover, the flight crosses 10 time zones. But hold on a second, there is a high probability that Australian Airlines Qantas shall overtake the Crown here. They have already announced to launch a direct flight from Sydney to London Heathrow, so-called kangaroo route. If their plans come true, passengers of the flight will spend on one airplane without stop 20 hours. Number 2. The world's worst airline. You probably heard a couple of times about 5-star luxury airlines. But do you know that there exists one particular airline commonly recognized as one star, namely Air Korea, national carrier of North Korea. The company is criticized by organization Skytrax for low level of services, lack of basic facilities standard for other airlines, and a fleet composed of aging Soviet-built aircraft. Moreover, the majority of the machines are banned from flying over the territory of European Union. However, the airline is popular among aviation enthusiasts that buy tickets for Air Korea flights in order to fly some legendary airliners like Tupol F2134 or Illusions Il-62, that are currently extremely rarely seen at the airports across the globe. Number 1. Concorde's record. For sure most of you will recognize that airplane. Yes, yes, it's a legendary Concorde a fruit of cooperation between manufacturers from the UK and France and one of just two supersonic airliners ever built. Several records were set by it, unbeaten so far. One of them is the transatlantic flight of the shortest duration. On February 7, 1996, a Concorde in British Airways livery flew the route from JFK Airport in New York to London in time of 2 hours, 52 minutes and 56 seconds. Nowadays, for comparison, it takes around 7 hours to make the same flight on a regular airliner. Thank you for watching today's episode. I hope that we have presented you in a simple way some interesting facts about aviation. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment down below and subscribe to our channel for more aviation-related videos. Take, Take care, care and fly high! high.